Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now this week we're going to take a look at themes and how they work in Rapid Weaver Elements and we're also going to answer a question from the forum which is slightly related to themes as well. So let's dive in. Now I have this site set up here, I've put this together this morning and it's quite a straightforward site, got a nice um, photo gallery, laid out some content in a grid, um, header and banner, menu, etc. Now, it's currently all designed um, with a white background and purple as the um, kind of the brand color. And we've got some thin fonts here. So I've put this all together, but I'm thinking, well, actually, I want to change the look of this. I'm not, I'm not quite happy with this look. Or I might be thinking I'm building this for a client and the client um, says, actually, I want to see the site. You know, I want a different colored background and I want um, different fonts and things. So themes are a really easy way to change the entire look of your site. So if I open up the theme studio, we've now got this uh, theme chooser here. Now these themes we have here are not finished. They are our sample themes that we've been using to build the feature and test. So these are not representative of the final versions. They're just three we put together to show you the kind of differences you can have. Um, but Elements will ship with a lot of themes and you'll be able to create your own as well and modify these. So it's a really powerful, flexible system. And you don't need to be a specialist theme designer to do this. Anyone can build these themes and change them to how they like. So at the moment, I've got the system theme selected which is just the standard one. And what I can do, if I just click on one of these, boom, I've clicked on Typesetter and the entire site has changed. You'll see um, the fonts change, the background color, even the curvature on the buttons and the drop shadow has changed. So this has really given our site a different look. And as we scroll down here, the, um, the photo gallery, you can see the drop shadow on there is now, um, kind of like a harder drop shadow and a different color. So let's go back to system and you can see I've got a soft shadow on there and these curved corners. Um, so let me just flip back and forth and you can see all the changes happening there with the different fonts. And obviously the same thing, I can just click on solar and boom, it's changed there to a dark style theme and it all, um, it all just works. Now this is great, you know, and you can see here, uh, this is kind of the brand color here is yellow, the brand color here is purple, and then the brand color here is kind of like this electric pink. So you might look at these and think, yeah, okay, I like this theme, but the um, this yellow is not really my color, that's not what I wanted or it's not what the client wanted. So what we can do, we can come into the colors section and we can override this. Now I say override, but this isn't creating extra CSS to um, bulk out your file. It's actually um, replacing the CSS. When we export this, it replaces this default brand value. So if I, um, let me just duplicate this. So I've duplicated this and it's overridden um, it, or it will override the brand color here. So um, there's no extra bulk in the export in your CSS file. It's still really lean. And that's one of the benefits of the system we're using and how Elements is built, that um, it will only export the CSS you're using. So there's no bloat here. So let's change this color um, because I'm thinking my brand color is more blue. So switch to blue. And now all the highlights uh, I don't know if we've got any down here. No, we haven't got any down there. So in the header and the button there, all the highlights are blue. Now let me go back to my theme chooser. And what happens is this blue, because we've overridden this color and this is our setting, this is really important to me because I want this blue, um, but I also want the flexibility of being able to choose more themes, like, you know, play around. So I can click on system and the blue color stays because that, you know, that's my brand color and go to solar 
and my blue color stays. And that's because we've overridden it here. And you can do this with any of these settings. Um, so if I go to the border radius and um, let's override this. <clears throat> so this is overriding the default and the default style is what a lot of these things use. So let's make this curve. See, did you see there, this just updates live. Uh, let me go back to um, square there. So you can, you can just watch this animate just as I do that. Boom, boom, boom. It's really, this is like really, um, it looks easy and like this is just, of course it's gonna work like that. But this, to get to this point, um, with all this stuff, you know, it's a lot of work and it's super complex under the hood, but it just, we've made it just work. Um, yeah, it's just such a nice system. Anyway, so there we changed the border radius and now the buttons are curved and I can go to system theme and you'll see it stays curved and it stays blue. It stays blue. And the same for these shadows. And this is just, this is just crazy stuff. It's like visually editing a CSS file, but you don't need to um, worry about writing the CSS. It just works and it's all uniform. Um, this is bonkers stuff. This really, really is, and I absolutely love it. Uh, what I'm gonna do, let's get rid of this. I'm gonna remove the curvy button there. That's great, but um, we'll stick with the blue. Now, um, so that's themes. Really powerful way to work, really fun to work with. These are just a little glimpse at what you can do um, and what we'll have available. We're obviously gonna build out a lot more themes and um, yeah, these are just here to show you how amazing this system is and how it works. But let's, um, I wanna answer the question on the forum, which is kind of related. Let's open up Safari. Um, now Kip, is asking a question here about how globals differ from partials. Now partials are available in Stacks. So if you're using Rapid Weaver Classic, Stacks, you might be familiar with partials. Um, and partials are a way to reuse elements throughout your site. And that's exactly what globals are, but globals takes it to another level because here he basically wants to um, have uh, a different, these menus, um, he wants to have a different menu on each page, or should I say a different colored menu on each page. Um, and he can't do that with partials. What he's doing at the moment is copying and pasting the menu from all the pages. So what happens is when you make a change, uh, let's go, let's go to the pricing page. What happens is when he makes a change, um, it's annoying because he, he would have to make it in multiple places. So, you know, cause on here he wants this menu to be red. Um, but now I've got to match, I've got to match the way this looks on here, uh, you know, and, he, and he's basically saying he has to do that on every page and partials wouldn't allow him to recolor the menu. Um, and his basic question is how, how is globals different? Can, is, can globals help with this? Um, and yes, of course it can. So we've, we've, from the outset, we've built elements to be really flexible. And we said we wanted it to be as simple as just dropping these things onto a page to build a website or also it can be slightly more complex and grow with you and offer these power features. So what I'm gonna do, uh, we're gonna use the globals feature and I'm gonna right click, oops, I'm gonna right click on our menu and I'm gonna say convert to global. And when I do that, it gives us uh, this menu item down in our global section. So now let's go to pricing and drop in our menu. And you'll see, uh, let's have a look. So you'll see when I click between the pages, it looks exactly the same. But we wanna override the color. Now, if I change this color here, it will change it everywhere. So let's go, if I change it to this, you can see that changes it on both pages, but we don't want that. Let's put it back to what it was. We want to, over on the pricing page, I perhaps want a, a red menu and we need to override that. So what we're gonna do, because this is a global, 
we're going to click this little icon here and this is a little link icon and at the moment it's gray and linked and what we're going to do i'm going to click it and then that uh, puts a line through it to say break the link on color and don't um kind of make it individual don't follow the the main global style so now i'm free to change the color of my menu so we'll make this red and i go back here and you'll see this one stays the same and that's just because we've broken the link there it's really really good stuff um let's have a look here desktop items because what i'm thinking is the text here is uh gray and that doesn't look so great so again i want to break the link and then we'll just switch it to white and on the hover let's break the link and i'm going to pick rose and we'll go for a tint there there we are so that's nice so i've got a white uh menu items and then when i roll over we get a nice tint and again if i click back and forward you can see this remains the same so really easy stuff and if i drop the menu in on a third page it obviously ex respects the global colors so um you know if i make this uh, uh let's just do if, if i make this uh <laughs> a horrible <laughs> kind of yellowy green color that stays the same this one stays with the overridden colors and i can i can change this anywhere because this is global and linked these all stay the same and um you know if i drop a new one on it respects the global color that we've set up and been working with so let's get rid of that because we don't need we don't need that so um yeah so on here i can easily break the link and then we'll have this one as blue um so that's a blue menu there you know i could break the link on opacity and we could if we wanted to overlay this change the opacity there um it's just it's really uh you know i could do other stuff like break the positioning um so this is the vertical offset on the um on the nav bar there so i can break that you know it's it's just a really really flexible way to work so we can change anything there so there we are so i've got our three menus and that's uh, let's change that back to that because that's a bit of a bit of a grolly color and you know my button here is using uh is blue on all the um in all the globals now this button uh, let's go here um now the button here is um it's just a button i dropped in like if i delete this i can just see uh there you go you can see it's gone from all the all the globals um and i can just drop drop that back in and again i could override because this is part of a global i can override the color of the button if i wanted to so in here um let me just make that a bit thinner um in here the background color i could on the home page you know or let's go let's go to the red page on here i could break the color i'm just checking that i could break the color and um we could make this a rose color we can make it light uh, or maybe darker there we go we'll make it a dark red um and you can see this stays blue and that one's red so uh theming and global is really really powerful uh stuff yeah so i mean i could go on tweaking this and kind of showing you how good this works but i think that's that's probably enough for this week um hopefully you can see how great this theming is and you know this affects any new stuff i drop into here um it just works with the theme studio you know I can drop in a section um, here and let's go, let's add some padding so we can see what we're doing. I can drop in a section here. Um, let's get a container there and then um, drop in a flex and just drop in my heading and it's already using my heading text and I drop in a paragraph. Whoops. I drop in a paragraph and it's already using that theme stuff. And then when I change, um, Ooh, there we go then when i change it you can see it just 
I've just dragged in new content and it's in that style. Let's put in another banner there, you know, um, and I go back to system and it's just using that style. So really, really powerful stuff. I'll just delete those. Um, yeah, all right, good. I hope that gives you an idea of how theming works and how great it's gonna be. Um, yeah, and how you can just, you know, just change it as easy as that. We're obviously very pleased with how Elements is shaping up and we're working towards um, shipping an alpha to you guys as soon as possible. Um, so we will have more news on that very, very soon. Because uh, I know that is the big question at the moment. You guys just want to play with this. Um, but hopefully you can see, you know, with this theme stuff, this is all the polish we're adding to make it usable enough for um, for you guys. So it's, you know, there's going to be bugs in the first alpha, but we wanted to kind of um, get it as stable as possible so that you can start playing around. All right, uh, that's it for this week. Thank you for listening to my ramblings on and I hope you really love the way these themes are looking and working. Um, yeah, and I will answer any questions you have in the forum as always. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.